Yeah, let me show you a day in the life of a robot. I'll give up play by play. It's about a three minute clip and I'll narrate kind of fast paced, but we'll, you'll get a sense for what all is uh, going on, excuse me, under the hood here. So, how does it work? Um, it starts with a collection of thousands of pods containing tens of thousands of inventory items and a collection of pack workers on the side of the building, as you saw. And the whole process begins when Mrs. Smith goes to the website and orders red, green, and blue. And she says, submit order. Now our job becomes to find the pod with the red t-shirt that we want to use, match it up with the station, match it up with the robot. And then we hand out a mission to the robot. So we've ch we choose a bot and say, you're the guy. Uh, and uh, we send it on a mission to go and fetch that pod. And we ask it to drive in Manhattan-type north, south, east, west, uh, trajectories and to tunnel underneath the other pods as much as possible, leaving the highways clear for inventory traffic. When it finally gets to its destination, it actually does a corkscrew motion to lift the pod just a little bit off the ground so we can carry it. And then it'll actually step out onto the local street. And from here, it's trying to make its way up to the front of the building where that highway is. So highway driving is really the process of getting on the highway, moving down to the queue, the target queue, and then moving into that queuing system. And there again, what we're trying to do is just make the work, uh, so it's actually a lot easier when they move in real time to get across the highway. Uh, but you can see them drifting across the highway there. Uh, and we're just trying to arrive in the queue in time for the next pick. We don't want too many there, we don't want too few there. Uh, here's an overhead view of the queuing that takes place or takes over at this point, supporting the pick worker. They reach in, pick, scan, pack, um, and basically this is the effect if you're the pick worker. So they simply put out their hand and the product shows up. <laughs> so we try to simplify their life and hide the technology. He looks thrilled. He, he's a happy... <laughs> all, all Kiva pick workers are happy pick workers. Um, here, uh, you go back to the queue and you see behind the scenes, we've made her life incredibly easy, but we're actually rotating pods, bringing the next one in, and managing the whole on-deck process there. When they're done with the pod, of course, it now needs to return to storage. And so we think in, a little bit in reverse here and say, well, given what's left on this pod and what the current state of the warehouse is, we need to find a new spot. And it might be way in the back of the warehouse because there's nothing interesting left on this inventory pod. And so it leaves the queue and it crosses back over the highway and returns to the storage zone. And then it'll make its way, just like it did to the front of the building, it'll make its way to the back of the building. Uh, in this case, it looks like he's got a, a little bit of a swagger having just completed the important red t-shirt pick. Um, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's headed for some remote parking spot in the back of the building. And when he gets there, he just uncorkscrews the pod back to the ground. And so very much the reverse of what we did uh, to take the mission, to take the robot on the mission up. Now, uh, the system says, great, you're, thank you for that red t-shirt. Your next mission is to go charge yourself. And so we send it over to take a five minute drink off of the charger. And for him, he's like, great, you know, next, I'm out. Uh, who, you know, somebody else takes over from there.